Hello. How's everybody doing? It's Mama. <clears throat> if you're here, <clears throat> whoops, you already know what time it is. And if you're just stumbling upon this, it's auction time. It's jewelry auction time. Yes. It's that time, guys. I'm gonna take my vitamins. It was ending the the cycle of being hot, so you gotta down it. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat water, right? <clears throat> you also can't beat... Hi, Dolly. Hi, Leticia. You can't beat a monster. All right, guys. That's good. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I had a fantastic day. I... Half of my jewelry is still in the drawer. Leticia, it was so nice to talk to you yesterday. That seems like such a long time ago. That seems like it was just such a long time ago. And it was just last night. But I was up for two straight nights, you guys. Like, seriously. I stayed up all day Monday night. I was up all day Monday. And then yesterday was Tuesday. I was up all Tuesday night. And then I went to bed at about 5, 5.30 this morning. And oh, I got my paper's all wet. Well, it's okay. Um, I guess it'll stay in place, won't it? <clears throat> So, yeah, I went to bed by 5, 5, 5.30. I'm not sure when I actually fell asleep. And, uh, oh, thank you. And I slept until 3 o'clock. Now, I told my husband when he left for work this morning at quarter to 4 in the morning, he has to be at work at 4. I, uh... I told him, I said, I will be sleeping when you get home. Water. <clears throat> I will be sleeping when you get home. So, so that he doesn't have any expectations that anything's going to be done with the house or anything else 
while he's gone. So I wake up. It's 3 p.m. And I wake up. And I'm like, oh. Like, why didn't you wake me up? <clears throat> and he's like, why would I wake you up? I'm like, so I don't sleep all day? And he goes... He goes, you clearly needed your sleep. I'm like, yeah, but any other day you would have woke me up. I have an itch on my leg. Wasn't sure the best way to reach it. Did I flash you? <sighs> Goodness. But, okay, so what else happened? He says that um, our son Clay called and he needs to get picked up from his eye doctor appointment because his car is in the shop and his friend took him to his eye appointment and uh, take him back all the way across town to pick his car back up. And my husband's like, grr, 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 grr. You know, I don't want to do it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'll do it. Like, shh. I'll spend time with my son. No problem. I will do it. So I went to his eye appointment. I knew exactly where it was. Hi, Manji. Went to his eye appointment. Picked him up. Just waited in the parking lot. He's a big boy. Waited in the parking lot. He comes out. He says to me, Hi, Mom. Whatever. Hug. You know. And, uh, And um, I say, hey, we gotta, we start driving. So we gotta stop by State Farm, and uh, the state is making us, or the the country, the government, is making us sign over your life insurance policy. Since now that you're 30, um, <clears throat> we can no longer be the owners of his life insurance policy. We got his life insurance when he was 10 days old. And so we can no longer be the owners of it. So he has to sign a paper taking ownership of his life insurance policy. And uh, so we stopped at State Farm and did that. And my son used to used to date back in high school used to date the state farm lady's daughter so we were there for like straight up half an hour talking and stuff like that and uh we finally leave there and then we have to go across the street to where my son stays when he comes into town he used to be roommates with his buddy Nick and he actually lived in Nick's house. Nick owns this big, beautiful, beautifully decorated home. And I got to give the dude props. You know, he's like 34 years old and his house is like, like a legit magazine. And, uh, <clears throat> So I take him over there. He runs in. He gets all the stuff. He throws it in the, the SUV. And off we go. <clears throat> and as we're driving, he goes, oh, because we were talking about on the way over there, we were talking about dispensaries. And I was telling him, I said, I said, I need to find a dispensary. And he goes, what do you need a dispensary for? I said, because I want to get some edibles. 
um, so that I can sleep at night. You know, this girl on the bus, blah, 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 gave me this edible. It was a gummy, and I thought it was a regular gummy, and it wasn't a regular gummy. It was an edible gummy. And I've told this story before. And, uh, hi, Anna. And, uh, it put me right to sleep, and I slept the entire five-hour bus ride. Like, they literally had to wake me up. And so I, since then, I've wanted to get some edible gummies and take one before bed, right? And he he says, well, there's a dispensary right there, Mom. And I'm like, what, what, where, 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 you know? And so I had passed it, of course. So I turned around, and he's like, Mom, I really don't want to go to a dispensary. He's like, I'd like to get in my car and go home. And I said, well, you know what? I said, uh, I would really like for you to be respectful and go in this dispensary with me. And so we get there. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? He's like, Mom, it's right there. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? He goes, Mom, it's right there. So we pull up. And I get out of the car, and he doesn't get out of the car. And I said, uh-uh. I said, come on, you're going in with me. And he looks at me, and he's like, really? I'm like, yeah, you're going in with me. I said, I don't understand this stuff. You're going in with me. So he goes in with me, and, you know, I'm like, hey, I want to see about getting some edible gummies to help me sleep at night. And... um He's like, okay, blah, 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 blah. He's explaining all this stuff, right? And I'm going. And my son's waiting out in the hall, right? Because he doesn't want to go in. Because it's just a little room. You know, he doesn't want it to be crowded and stuff like that. And uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> I feel his presence. He's behind me. And... um I turn around. He's like, I got you, mom. And I'm like, thank you. And so then the guy tells everything that he just told me. He turns around and tells my son. <laughs> he tells my son everything, right? So he shows my son the website. He says, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. He's like, I would recommend that she get a, a card a med card and she do this and this and this and this and this and um Clay's like yep 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 and he says what does she have to do to do this he's like go to this website do this do this do this do this and I mean there's like legit you guys initials in all this stuff like ABC and FTD and you know UFC, I didn't understand a damn word coming out of this guy's mouth, okay, except the price, and you know, my son's like, yep, 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 and he legit gets his phone out, takes a picture of the website, types in the website URL into his phone, and he's like, okay, and I'm just standing there going, and the guy says, can I have your driver's license? And I said, well, sure. He's like, you can ghost it if you want to. And I went. He goes, you don't register with us. You just come in. You give us your driver's license so that we have your driver's license on file because we have to have that. You fill out this form. You don't have to put your real name and, and stuff like that in there. And, um, you know, that's ghosting. And I said, well. I said, I, I don't, I don't care. I said, I, you know, I want it for, hi, Carly. No, I know CBD and THC. I know those letters, CBD and THC. I know what those letters are. This was something else. I don't know what he was talking about. And because I take CBD every day. So, <clears throat> 
he takes a picture of my driver's license. I fill out this form and he looks at it and he says, well, you definitely don't care if you're in our system. And I'm like, why? He says, because your email's Kelly Haggard. It's your name. <laughs> I said, yeah. So I said, I don't care if, if I'm in this system. I don't got to worry about an employer or anything like that. I'm self-employed, so I don't have to worry about that. And uh, he says, you know, I don't have the bag because I want a bag of them. It's so much cheaper to get the bag than it is to buy the individual gummies and the wrappers because they're like six bucks a piece for a 10 milligram or 10 whatever. I think it's 10 milligram or 10 cc's or I don't know. So he says, but we don't have any right now. We might have some in a couple days, but if you, if you apply for your med card, then, you know, within a couple of days, you'll be all set. You can get curbside service. And I'm like, curbside service. He's like, yeah, you can park on the curb out there and then just come on in and pick it up. We'll have it ready for you. And I was like, oh, because otherwise you got to sit in one of these chairs like these guys and you got to wait until it's your turn. Then you go in, you look around, you get what you want, blah, 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 blah. And apparently not every dispensary does recreation. Recreational. Some dispensaries are strictly for medical. Which I don't know why you'd have to be strictly for medical when marijuana is legal in Michigan. So why they would have some that would be strictly medical, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. So the... The moral of this story is that Mama done went into a legit dispensary today. And while we were in there, we ran into one of Clay's old high school friends. We did. And Clay's like, hey, Mom, do you remember blah, blah, blah? I won't say his name. And I said, yeah. He goes, he's from baseball. I said, yeah. And he goes, you don't remember. And the guy goes, you don't remember. I said, yeah, I do. You were uh, outfield. You played outfield. And he went, yeah. He's like, you do, you do remember. <sighs> so I remember baseball people. I might not remember your name. But I can look at you, and I can tell you what position you played. And this was a kid that was two years above Clay. But he played with the varsity at a young age. So um, I can tell you. Did I just throw that away? What position you played. And a lot of times I can tell you what your number is. But don't ask me what your name is. There's a reason I call everybody baby and honey and stuff like that. It's just so much easier than having to remember a name. So then we we did all of that. And then we got in the car. And he looks at me and he's like, I'm glad I went in with you, Mom. I said, you know, Clay, I don't think I would have went in by myself. Because I did that once. I went into what I thought was a dispensary by myself. And there's two little old women in there. And it was not a dispensary. They do testing. And it's where they make like the, the different edibles and stuff like that. And, they, you know, um, they do stuff there. And, um, this is before marijuana was legal. So this was quite a while ago. Hi, Eric. How are you? Um, this was quite a while ago. So, yeah. I legit went into a dispensary. I signed up. 
I gave him my license, driver's license. I signed a form. I gave them my information. And, oh my goodness. You guys, I wiped off this snake chain, right? And it still had the oil on it from the cleaner. And I set it on my paper. And legit, it soaked. And it left. Like, it looks like a pencil mark on my paper. I'm telling you, they should pay me. This company should really pay me, Eagle One, for touting. I'm going to email them for touting their product constantly, every day. Hi, Melissa. How are you? So... I heard the microwave. He better not be making nachos. He better save that shit for when we're together. And a fat person always can hear the microwave. That looks beautiful now. Okay. So, <clears throat> we left the dispensary. And I was feeling pretty hip. I'm not going to lie. You know, hip flipping mama. I was feeling pretty hip. And, you know, young and funky and, and uh, down with it. Cool with kids. Gangster-like. I was feeling gangster-like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. Like. Mom sign. Mom sign. Yeah. No, I just literally, I was um, literally just feeling like, um, can't find my little ass mirror for you. Can you hear that crackle, crackle, crackle? I don't know where, oh, here it is. Here's my Purell. Um, so we left there and I took him to get his car. And then by this time we'd spent about an hour and a half together and it was so wonderful. So wonderful spending that time with my son. And even though we were in a car, you know what I mean? It, uh, I enjoyed it. And then I said, I'm going to stop and get a coffee. And he says to me, you guys, and I'm going to start the auction. Don't worry. He says to me, he says, mom. Or wait, when we get out of the dispensary, he says to me, he's like, I said, thanks for going in. And he's like, yeah, it's legit. Don't worry about it, mom. And then he says, technically, I should be respectful anyway, because you took time out of your day, especially with your auction. You took time out of your day to come and pick me up and drive me all the way across town, you know, on the spur of the moment. And I should be more respectful anyway. So I'm sorry. I said, hey, that's cool, son. You know, I said, you are never an inconvenience to me. I said, you will never be an inconvenience to me. So don't worry about it. So it was a wonderful little mother-son moment. I dropped him off. He got his stuff out of the car. I gave him a hug and a smooch and off he went. And then, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. No, I haven't taken my Adderall today. Uh, I said, I want to stop and get coffee. And he goes, Mom, do you want to stop and get coffee? Because you absolutely have to have it right now because I've got a bad headache. Or do you want to stop and get coffee now as opposed to dropping me off? Because there's like 200 yards between the place I get coffee, which is Burger King, and where his car is. He says, do you want to stop and get coffee first just so you can spend more time with me? I went, absolutely. <laughs> I said, absolutely. It's just a way for me to spend more time with you, son. And he's like, okay, mom, get your coffee. I didn't. I waited until I dropped him off. And then I went and got my coffee. But 
the moral of this story is I got to spend a couple hours with my son and this hip flipping mama, mom sign, mom sign. I know I suck. Went into a dispensary. It really stinks in there. It really smells like pot in there really bad, which of course it would because that's what it is. But okay. I'm going to give you guys just a little preview of some brand new items I have that will be coming up in the show at some point. And the, this item I'm going to give you a preview of right now is an inch long. Just keep that in mind, an inch long. Uh-oh. thought I was going to burp. Okay, are you ready? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Look at it. It is an amethyst. And it's a pretty dark amethyst. Isn't that gorgeous? Guys, I have no idea. Look at just like next to my ear. Just for size comparison. Look how big that amethyst is. Here's my finger. Look at how big that amethyst is. Oh, yeah. This is, you guys, this is going to go up tonight. This is going up tonight. I'm just going to show you two other things, and then we're going to start with some necklaces. That is purple. You know, this, oh, I just can't get rid of this headache. This is, believe it or not, nephrite. And I keep testing it, hoping it's going to go to amethyst. But it doesn't. It's It constantly lands on nephrite. But it is the most beautiful purple. It is the most gorgeous purple. And I'm going to show you. Yeah, look at my owie. See my owie? And then I've got this that is a dark purple. And this is amethyst. If I take my hand away, you can see the, the purple color with the light. You can see the light go through it. You can see the purple. See the purple? That's really pretty. I've got this gorgeous turquoise ring that's freaking gorgeous. I've got a big ass, sorry, onyx pendant. Look how big that is. I've got turquoise earrings. Oh, and look at these. Look at these. That is legit garnet. Lapis, turquoise, and malachite earrings. Sweet. All right. And I actually have a couple chains. All right, guys. 
I'm going to pull a couple necklaces down, and then we will get to those rings and whatnot. I promise you, we will get to those. I'm going to try and get to everything. And, oh, 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 oh. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Muscle spasm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. It, uh, sometimes a muscle spasm will will hit me really fast like that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, Leticia, Leticia, I wish it were a cramp. It's a muscle spasm. <sighs> Affects like your whole entire arm. <sighs> sorry about that, guys. Usually, 90% of the time, I'm fine, Leticia. Thank you, baby. I'm fine. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Just, you know, day in the life of me. Okay. Let's do a couple chains. I'm going to start with these. And I think I'm going to do these together. <clears throat> because they are... They are the exact same type. Oh, no, those were earrings. These are earrings. It's not a pendant. But you could make it a pendant. I'm okay, baby. I'm just in pain somewhere else. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. That's part of having fibromyalgia. It just, you know, um... You guys have just never seen it because it's never happened live. So, it's, it's okay. You know, these are earrings, Leticia. See? There's two of them. But you could easily make them pendants if you wanted to. I cherry picked these. She did not want to sell these, but I used the the friend. God, everything's backwards. I used the friend card on her. Love these. <sighs> oh yeah, I bet Kathy. Poor thing. She probably suffered so bad. Look, look, I know my, look, I showered, okay, and I let my hair go. I just shook my head, scrunched this like this, let it go, drove with the windows open. So, this is what mama's hair looks like, straight out of the shower. I did nothing but brush it once, and that's it. Now that my hair is short, my hair was straight you guys remember what it was. it was straight cut it off and it's curly um these necklaces back to business these necklaces are um they look like liquid silver but they are not they've got um it's on like a copper like cord but these are clear beads, and they look like liquid silver. I mean, they're not trying to look like liquid silver. They just look like liquid silver. Yeah, wavy hair. For me, it's curly. So this first chain is 17 inch, almost 18 inches long. And... The next one, because I'm gonna I'm gonna do these both together, you guys. 
I know I don't usually do that, but I'm going to do that. And then if nobody wants them and somebody's interested in one particular one, okay. <clears throat> this one's 20 inches. No. 19 inches. So I'm going to show you the short one first. Oh, God. Oh. Hopefully my headache will go away. You know what? <clears throat> it's going to go away soon. So, nice big spring ring clasp. And then here's the... Here's the beading that I was telling you about. See how it's clear beading? And there's like silver on the inside or, or something. Um, and you can see up close, when you're really, really up close, that it is a see-through bead. But from afar, it just looks like liquid silver. But the findings on it are 925. So you've got, this is the, the shorter of the two, but it's, you know, 17 inches. And it has this really cute sterling silver. I don't know if this is a, a daffodil. I don't know what kind of flower this is. I'm not a flower lady. Kathy might be able to tell us. But it's got this really pretty flower on it. And here's what the back looks like. I almost like the back better than I like the front. Let me turn this a couple times and maybe it won't flip. Focus, please. Thank you so much for everybody who's here. I know the focus is a struggle, guys, but once it's focused, you really you can see what what you're buying. For the life of me. This is also fine in the sweet spot. There it is. So that's the back. This is the front. This is the shorter. Okay. That's the shorter of the two. Here's the longer. Large spring ring glass. The same kind of beads. Clear seat. Are they? They're glass. Because I had it in my mouth. I had my teeth on it. So I will disinfect it. And then here is the flower. See, I, Kathy, I, th I was thinking about daisies, but I think all daisies are pointed. And here's the flower on this one. And it's got the little 925. Well, I don't know. I couldn't test those, but I assume they're 925. Little things in the middle to make it look like, you know, the little things that bees suck on. And here's the back. Okay, now this one's got this black bead. So I don't know what that's about. I'm not sure what that's about. If that's like the middle of the chain or, or what. So we are going to start for both of these. We're going to start at $25. And that's for both of them. You're going to get both of them. Both chains and pendants. Kathy, I'm right. I'm actually right about something. Okay, I'm going to make the, the, the one that we were thinking maybe was daisies shorter because that's the 17 inch chain. The longer one is the 19 inch chain. 
and I'm going to start these at 25. Do I have a $25 starting bid? You know what? I need to pull YouTube up. Oh, you guys, I am having my auction Saturday. I wasn't going to do an auction this Saturday because I'm going to be at Clay's house. But my, my laptop is crap for doing auctions. For those of you who have been with me since the beginning, I'm sorry, my boob bitches. Not my nipple, just my boob. It's okay. Um, for those of you who have been with me from the beginning, remember when I used to auction off fashion jewelry and costume jewelry? Um, I did it on my tablet and I did it on my laptop. Like my very first YouTube videos were done on my laptop. And I didn't realize the sound was really bad. The sound was bad. And so I don't want to take my laptop. I mean, it's a 17 inch laptop. It's, it's great to use, but I don't want to do an auction on it. Now my son has a laptop that was bought within the last couple of years. And, um, it's, it's a nice laptop. So I don't want to compromise the picture of the camera or where did my channel go? So, um, I'm going to use his laptop. He is gracious. I think it might be his work, work one. I don't know. No, no, I don't think it is. I think it's his personal one. But he's going to let me use it so that you guys will have a good picture on Saturday and you will have good sound. So Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern, that's noon. That's noon. I will be out of state. Um, but he said I could use his laptop, so I will be doing my auction, which I think is really cool of him because he took Saturday off to spend it with me and he's going to let me take a couple hours out and do my auction. Now it's not going to be really long like last Saturday's auction. It'll only be for a couple hours, but, um, I am going to have an auction Saturday. So for those of you who are, you know, really like the Saturday auctions, and there's some people that can go to Saturday but can't come to Wednesday. So, excuse me. So there you go. Um, I will be doing that. And here is my YouTube chat, which I should be going off of. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we didn't get any bids on those necklaces, so I'm just going to put those up. Oh, no, wait. You know what? I'm looking at myself right now. I'm looking at myself. And my office really needs to be straightened up. That's my purse in the background. But I'm looking at my face. I have zero makeup on. My hair is not done. I've had this shirt and bra and shorts on all day. And you know what, you guys? I'm looking at myself right now. And I don't hate what I see. I do not... I do not hate the fact that I'm, I am a large person. I do not hate the fact that my hair is not done. Hi, Wings. How are you, baby? We just started. We just started with these two necklaces right here for $25 starting bid for both of them. You get both of them. But, you know, I, I don't hate my face that has no makeup on or my eyebrows that haven't been done in months or my mustache that needs plugged. Hi, Patty. I, um, I just got your email today that had all your information, Patty. So I just sent your invoice today. I don't know if you've paid it or not, but I sent it to you today. But I still have your coral earrings. Um, yeah, I didn't hate what I was looking at. And 
some days, you know, I'm not happy with it. Um, oh, thank you, Wings. I love you, too. But it just hit me. I saw myself, and I was like, aw. And I was kind of like, you know, in my head, I'm like, aw. You know, and what flashed in my head is, there's a nice, that's a nice person, so full of love. I was thinking, you're a nice person, so full of love, and you love so many people. That that just, like, popped in my head. Oh, you're a nice person, so full of love, and you, and, you know, and that instantly made my hair unimportant, unimportant, my face unimportant, my fat unimportant. Um, I guess I just, in this moment right now, I like me. And... No, Manji, you said to wait. You said to wait until the end of the month. Anyway, so what I want for you, this is just like a split second realization, you guys. Split second realization. But you know, if it comes in my head, it comes out my mouth. Um, what I want for all of you, because I care for you guys so much, is to be able to, to look at yourself and love yourself. And the wonderful qualities that you have. You may have bad qualities. I have bad qualities. But let's not focus on our bad qualities. Let's just love the good ones. And the more you love the good ones, the more they'll come out. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. That's the good Lord working through me. Okay, so Manji, this is what I need to do. I will send out your stuff. Anything that you buy tonight, I will compile with everything else. And I figured out, because I charged you for the $15 for the shipping the first time, and I figured out the most cost-effective way for me, and then I'll, you know, I'll bill you, I'll bill you for some shipping tonight, um, is if I split your items into two to three packages it's going to be cheaper for me to send it to you than to send it in one big package because of the value of what's in those packages. So, yeah, you told me to wait until the end of the month. So, because I just canceled your label yesterday because I had your stuff labeled all ready to go. And you said wait till the end of the month. So I canceled your label. But I will package everything up, Manji, and I will have it ready to go out. Okay, so if I send it to you tomorrow or let's just say the, at the latest, because yours is a project, at the latest um, Friday, you should have it by the end of the month, the last week of the month, because it takes 12 days to get from me to Ohio. Ohio. It takes 12 days to get from me to Canada. All right, baby. Manji, it is going to be like freaking Christmas. You better make sure your husband is not home. That's all I can say. It is going to be like, it's going to be like Christmas for me. Because when I unwrap your stuff. When I unwrap your stuff. Woman. Don't think I'm not going to play with it all. No, I won't play with it. I'm not going to play with it because it's in plastic. It, everything is all wrapped up and, and really nice. So don't worry about it. Um, But yes, so love yourselves, guys, because I just looked at myself and I loved what I saw. And I'm not saying that to be full of myself. I just... And you know what? I probably feel that way because I'm with you guys. That's probably why I feel that way. Because I'm with you guys, my friends. Okay. So we're going to put these up. So I've got these. Don't. Don't. Uh, forget about these. And you know what? If I offer a starting bid on something. And you're like, I don't know for 25. But maybe I do it for 20. 
you can you can make me an offer. Hi, Perla. You guys, <clears throat> I want you to go over to TikTok. And I want you to type in the search, Perla's Precious. Perla is on TikTok. And I am so enjoying her TikToks. She's so effing beautiful, right? And uh, as soon as I get brave enough to do a TikTok, because I am going to go on TikTok, TikTok, uh, Perla and I will be will be duetting each other, won't we, Perla? All right. Who wants to do the big one? Who's ready for the big one? Oh, honey, I know where you're going with that. <clears throat> Who's ready for this? Should we do this right now? I don't know. I don't know. If you want if you want to do this right now, put a one in the chat. I don't know if anybody's interested in this. All right, guys. Like I said, this is bigger than an inch. The outside part. The amethyst alone is just shy of three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> this is one of those pieces that, you know what? I can't find my thing, but I know my disinfectant's here. Um, oh, there it is right there. This is one of those things that I had to have. I had to, even if I only make what I paid for it. I had to have it. I had to have it for you guys. And don't think that, yeah, Susie. And don't think that for one second what I do with them. That I don't want to keep it because I do. Okay, Susie, let me find those. Because I don't know what... Oh, here they are. They're hanging off. Um, That I wanted to keep it because I did. And I wore this. Let's face it. I've worn it every day since I've had it. Susie, this one... The shorter one is 17 inches. The longer one is 19 inches. And they're both spring rings. And you, the starting bid was 25 for both of them. And these are sterling silver. And they're just flowers. These are glass beads. And there's something silver inside them to make them look like liquid silver. But they are just glass beads. But they look like they, you could tell up close that they're not liquid silver. But from afar, they look like liquid silver. And this was just a $25 start bid. Nobody bid. So, Susie, if you're interested, this is for both of them. You get both for a $25 starting bid. Then, you know, if you were interested in those, then I'm, I'm sure you would be able to get those for $25. <clears throat> All right. Baby, I'm a different breed. Oh, all right. We're going to do this ring now. <clears throat> this ring weighs. God, it's phenomenal. I got it out of the mail. I was opening mail on the way to Menard, you guys. And because, you know, doesn't everybody? Hi, Debbie. Debbie, I haven't sent your package yet. It sat there, and I forgot to send it. And then I slept until 3 today, so I did not get it out today. But I will get it out tomorrow, babe. But if 
you were to pick anything up today, which you won't because I don't have any gold over silver today, I would just put it in there. So this is just under seven grams, just under seven grams. And it has got marcasites all on, well, hi, Myra, all on the outside, and they are all there. And it's a gorgeous, I think it's like six carats, you guys. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous amethyst. And I am starting this at $60, okay? And I know you're going, $60? Mama doesn't start anything at $60. But you guys, when you see this, I mean, this is my middle finger and I have a big middle finger. Look at the size of this. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a gorgeous ring. The only issue, and I am nitpicking, okay, is when you look at it flat. And you know me, I got to tell you everything. When you look at it flat. Do you see the stone is not level? Those marcasites are just blinding you. But you see how the stone isn't level? That's the only issue. But nobody is going to notice that. I wore this to Menards in my work, in my, because I was opening my, um, I was opening all my mail on the way to Menards. And just in Menards, right? In in regular clothing, work, you know, work around the house clothing. I got three compliments on this ring. And one of them was from a man. It is a size eight, Manji. Now I was just talking to a friend and she's like, you should start that at 90. And I'm like, I don't know if I'll start it at 90. I'll start it at 60. It is an eight, seven and three quarters quarters. But I have a size eight finger and it fits comfortable. But do I have a $60 starting bid for this gorgeous ring? And it is flipping gorgeous. You could tell it's purple, which shows you the level of purple that it is. Because usually purple does not show up on my camera unless it's dark. And you can tell that this is purple. It is gorgeous, you guys. Where'd my chat go? Deb, I'll give you a call after the, the auction. There's Susie. You weren't on the other one. You weren't on the other chat. Okay, I'm going to wear this. So I have this, guys. It's available. I know a $60 starting bid's kind of like, for me, but, oh, Wings is in at 60 There goes that dream. <laughs> Wings is in at 60 Wings, I need for you to... Send me your information. I need you to... Thank you, Leticia. You saw it last night. I need for you to email me at hipflippinmama at yahoo.com. And um, Anna will put it... Anna will put it in the... It is. We'll put that in the chat for me. Thank you so much, Anna. Um, um but I need you to email me within 30 minutes because I don't have your info. And then once I have your info, where's my phone? Oh, it's in my purse. Once I have your info, then you're all set. But to my, that's right. People, quit changing your names. 
I did that last time, didn't I? Because, yeah, it was all confusing. I'm like, I have you. You're under blah, 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 blah. Remember the email? I might have changed it to Wings of Love, too. So it might be changed in there already. Okay. I got you, baby. And one thing I'm going to talk about. Does anybody want to come in at 65 on this? Anything after 50, there is... Oh, there's a little donk right there. Right there. See it? I've looked at this. Yeah, you can hardly tell. I've looked at this and looked at this and looked at this. Um, because I, I wore it the entire first day I got it. And I said, this is my new wedding ring. And my husband's like, like, no, seriously. And then when he saw everybody like complimenting me on it, he's just like kind of looking at me. I'm like, dude, people like jewelry. Even that guy likes jewelry. Um, Yeah, you can't tell. It's gorgeous. Well, since we don't have a $65 bid, guys, we're going to count it down. We're going to go once to Wings for $60. We're going to go twice to Wings for $60. I'm going to start going fast, fast, fast here. We're going to do our first trivia. Fair warning. And that is sold to Wings of Treasure. Wings of Love Treasure. Congratulations, baby. Goodbye. I loved you. Goodbye. Congratulations. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. All right, guys. Let's do Let's do this amethyst pendant. Now, you know how I am over at your trivia. I didn't have my Adderall today, you guys. I'm sorry. So I'll be squirreling a lot. <clears throat> okay. When I first started, when I first started this auction, <clears throat> hang on. My legs are sticking to my leather seat. This is going to be a two parter. So you have an opportunity for two people to win free shipping. When I first started this auction this evening, I have, of course, liquid beverage upon which to sip. When I, in the early minutes of my auction, or this, you know, the first 15, 20 minutes, how many drinks did I have? How many drinks did I have here that I was drinking? Go. Hi, Skylar. <clears throat> Baby, I'm a different breed. <clears throat> Baby, I'm a different breed. Wings 
of love gets it. Wings of love. Congratulations. Part two. Part two for free shipping. Wings of love, you already have free shipping. So you want to refrain from answering. For free shipping. The correct answer was three. What were those three drinks? Specifically, what were those three drinks? Go. I don't think anybody will get this. I need all three, Leticia. So if you're not putting all three down, don't give anybody else a hint. Myra, that's a really good guess, but it's incorrect. Carly, that's a really good guess, but it is incorrect. Debbie Kendall, you're so close, but incorrect. I'm going to do a part three. Right here, right now. Coffee, Mountain Dew, and water. Incorrect, mind you. You're very close, but incorrect. Okay, nobody's going to get it. You had to have been in here the first 10 minutes, really, to have been able to get that question. Before I tell you what the answer to that is, I'm going to do a part three right now because I love to give away free shipping. I know it's money out of my pocket, but what the hell? Two of those drinks were from a merchant within my town. I stopped at a merchant on the way home and picked up two of my drinks. What merchant was that? What was the name of the food place that I stopped to get my drinks? Go. Yeah, I know you were here, Leticia. That's the thing. You got, you know... You, you got to, like, pay attention. Or not, like, I'm telling you to pay attention, but it's it's the little things. You know what I mean? Baby, I'm a different breed. You would have to have noticed the name on said cups in order to get the answer right. Manji, you got the second answer right. You re-raced it. You erased it, and you went back and looked. That doesn't count. The second answer is no longer able to be answered. Okay. All right. So the first answer was how many drinks did I have? Wings of Love got it. Manji, I want you to tell me the truth. I want you to be honest. I'm very giving with my shipping with you. Tell me the truth. Did you go back and watch the beginning of the, of the video? If, Manji, if you tell me that you didn't go back and watch the beginning of the video, I will trust you. Okay. I will trust you and I will give you a $3 disc. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. The shipping I'm going to charge you 
the shipping I was going to charge you today, Manji, isn't going to come close to covering all the costs for me to send that stuff to you. And that's on me. That was my fault because I held your stuff for so long and we just kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. And what's, what's making it expensive is the shipping or is the insurance. Now, here's the thing. I insist on insurance. Um, because PayPal holds me accountable. So I insist on insurance. Uh, especially for international. If it's under $20, I don't worry about it. But um, especially for international and especially for $1,000 worth of jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Um, Manji, I am just kidding with you, sweetheart. Manji, you know that I love you and I believe you. You got the second question correct. And nobody, nobody got who it was from. So the first drink that I was drinking was this coffee. Mind you, got the second question. Water, coffee, and a monster. I downed the rest of this coffee. It's from Burger King, BK, because I had such a headache that I wanted to douse my, you know, and then I have this drink from Burger King, which is ice water. And I got ice water so I could take some ice out and put it in my coffee and instantly cool it down so I could drink it like. Um, so coffee, ice water. And then you would have to have been here when I opened up my drink and poured it into my cup. And that is a monster. No, no dew of the mountain. Nope, I had my monster. Hi, Mona. So Manji and her brilliant mind, her subconscious mind, remembered. So coffee, water, and a monster. And we talk about the fact that I can have several drinks. When I go to a restaurant, a specific restaurant um, in my town called Shakespeare's with the guys to watch football or whatever, I will have, I am not kidding you, they'll come for my, my drink order and I will say, I'd like a coffee, I'd like an ice water. I'd like a Sam Adams cherry wheat with 10 cherries in the bottom. And then I will get a Mountain Dew. No ice. So I've got my coffee. I've got my water. I have my beer. And then I have my Mountain Dew. I will have four drinks in front of me. Because... Why should I have to choose? Why should I have to choose? I shouldn't. All right, guys. We're going to do this baby. Because it's an hour into the auction. And we've only auctioned off one thing. Okay. This is... Look at the size of this. This is an Onyx Pendant. We're going to start this at 35, and this is, I'm not kidding you, one and three quarters of an inch long. It's just shy of three quarters of an inch. No, you didn't miss much, Dolly. And I have a long chain, too. And this particular pendant is... So you've got one, and then you've got two. There's one little line next to the two. That's how wide this is. So it's almost an inch wide. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-eighths of an inch wide. You missed six drinks? What? 
<laughs> no, I was drinking water, coffee, and a Monster Energy drink. So this has got, I want to show you the bale, a very large bale to it. It is a beautiful onyx pendant. And I just wiped this down really quick and it just cleaned up so beautiful. We're going to do a starting bit of 35. Look how thick it is. There's a... Okay, we're good. It's got quite a bit of silver on it. It's very thick. The cabochon is very thick. Here's the back. And of course, what do I love? But Mexican silver. So it's Taxco, Mexico. And I think you guys, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that those numbers on there, and I haven't researched it yet. But I think those numbers mean the, Anna, what's the devil face? I think these numbers are when it was made. It says 1970. Or it appears 1970. 1670 or 19. So I would think this was made 1970. This is my guess and this is what i'm thinking oh i like those emojis anna or anna but i'm going to start this at 35 guys this is a mammoth onyx pendant do i have anybody in at 35. how pure does silver have to be to kill a werewolf i don't think it has to be any purer than 925 you can't really get purer than 925. I mean, I know you see things that are 950, but I don't think you could ever get unless you take, I don't know. I don't think you could ever get pure silver. Maybe you could. I'm sure you probably could somewhere, somehow, somebody. Let me weigh this. This is... A very large pendant, you guys. It is 13.17 grams. So if I were to put this on a chain, which this is just for show. Well, this is a long chain. I wonder, this chain's got the vintage, the vintage hook look how pretty that is that looks good on me look at that isn't that gorgeous it's very large it's heavy it's not too heavy to wear it's definitely not too heavy to wear but it's gorgeous, you guys, and worth far more than the $35 starting price. But it is gorgeous. Loving it. Manji's in at 35. Thank you, Manji. Do I see 37? We must have a big lag today, guys. I just put that chain on there, Manji, just to show what it would look like with a chain, but I don't have a chain for it. But I know you have lots of chains in there. We're going to count down once for Manji at 35. I think my headache might be getting a little bigger, bigger, a little better. Let 
Nope, can't even get my pencil through there. Going twice to Manji for 35. This is so gorgeous, you guys. Well, I only buy pieces that are gorgeous. I only buy pieces that are gorgeous, so unless of course it comes in a kit and I just don't, you know, because sometimes I'll buy lots of things. Fair warning to Manji. You know, this is so big. This right here is so big. If you wanted to take this this bale off, um, you know, you could clip it right here and then resolder it and put this on something else because this is large enough to fit most chains right through it. You missed a lot to drink. Yeah, we. I was telling stories at the beginning. Did I do the fair warning yet? I'm watching the clock. 15 seconds, it will be sold to Manji. My sister from another Mista. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I just don't have enough room right here. I don't know what the problem is. This area was clean. It's just too much jewelry. You know, I feel like I could travel this world and almost everywhere I go, I would have a friend in close proximity. Cleansing breath. Do you know why? This is sold to Manji for 35. Congratulations. I've had this inhaler forever. The blue one. The one you see me sucking on all the time. I don't know where it is right now. You can go pee. Go ahead. Um, The chain? Let me see how long it is. It's a thick snake chain. So 29. It's a 19 inch chain. And it's vintage. It's got the vintage hook to it. I can throw the chain in for another 20, Manji. Do you want it on the chain for another 20, honey? So it would be 55. It's a beautiful chain. And it will only unhook from one side. Okay. I'll put it on the chain, baby. I just cleaned this chain while I was talking earlier. So, so we are going to... What did I say? 20? Bear with me, guys. I didn't take my Adderall today. Because I woke up so late in the day. So if you think I'm like squirrel... On a good day, bear with me and, and just help me through it. Beautiful, Manji. But you know what? Manji, Manji has that. She's got that. You know, she knows her. She's got that knack for the really gorgeous pieces. I sell a lot of Onyx because I love Onyx, but that is an exceptional piece. It is very large. 
All right. Alex Pendant and Chain 55. All right. We're going to do the pendants that, a couple of pendants that we showed earlier. Hey, guys, if you could share this video out um, on your social media, that would be really great. We've got 22 people in here. Let's see if we can't get any more awareness out there and get some more people in. If you I've never asked before, never, ever asked before, would you share my video, please? But if you if you could do that for me, I would really appreciate it. Skylar, you got the two pairs of earrings, the Rams, and you love them. I'm so happy. Skylar, you got those. Oh, thank you, darling. <clears throat> you got those for a deal. I think you paid $20 for the large Rams. Oh, no, you paid $18 for the large Rams. And you paid $20 for the smaller Rams. And that's a really good deal. Because after I sold them to you, I was just, you know, goofing on eBay. And I pulled some up. Yeah, that's a good price. And I had a friend ask me. Thank you, Leticia. Another jewelry seller. And no, it wasn't Thelma. But she asked me, she said, Mama, why do you sell your stuff so cheap? And I said, well, I said, I'll tell you. <clears throat> as long as I'm making a profit, as long as I'm going to make the profit that I want on it, depending on how much I pay, because I'm one of these people that will... Say, okay, I'm going to sell these items and these items and these items for $40 starting prices. And that's my set. Hi, Cleo. Patra. I called you that because you just told me you don't like being called that. So that's why that came out of my mouth. Ugh. Hello, my queen. My beautiful. Extra sensorial. Extra, extra -ential, experiential, ex. My freaking fabulous queen, Cleopatra, aka my chocolate queen, because her skin is so beautiful and brown like chocolate. I want to take the side of her cheek as if it were a candy bar and eat it. She is so beautiful. If you guys do not follow Queen Cleopatra, she's funny as hell. If you do not follow Queen Cleopatra, I want you to write her name down. And then after the auction, I want you to go and follow her. She is one of the purest souls and one of the nicest people. And Queen, you missed it. I um was messing with my YouTube, and then all of a sudden, when I closed that down, my face, and I had my, my computer up closer, my face was, was big, you know, for all the world to see. And my first response when I saw my face is, oh, that's a nice person. I have so much love, so much love I want to give. That's what I saw. It, it didn't matter that my hair isn't styled. It didn't matter that I, I ha don't have a stick of makeup on. It doesn't matter that I've been wearing these clothes all day and I have boob sweat in my bra. Y'all know what I'm talking about, except maybe the guys. Sorry. Um, 
And that very rarely happens to me. Very rarely happens to me. But in that moment, I liked what I saw. And I liked the person that I was. And when you popped in here, because you are all about that. I just thought I wanted to share that with you. Because my queen will be happy for my self-awareness and how I feel about that self-awareness. I know she will be proud of mama. Right, queen? I know queen's thinking, you go, mama. I really look up to her. She's like, she's kind of like my... You can't find me on YouTube. Oh, what it put your drop your link queen in the chat. She's kind of like my from the moment I met her, I was like, I need to be part of this woman's life. I sync with this woman, you know? And yeah, she's an extraordinary person. So, okay, we're going to do this amethyst pendant. Now, this is the beautiful, um, the purple that it looks, it looks very dark next to my hand. But as soon as you remove it and the light goes through it, you can start seeing the purple, which again, for the cameras, that's hard to pick up. So you can see the purple. Hi, Harry. How are you? Just call me Mama Harry if you're comfortable with that. If not, Kelly. But I'm going to get you a measurement on this pendant. This pendant is freaking rocking. Somebody said earlier it looks like Egyptian. So it's got two stones. Both are amethyst. They tested amethyst. So the top stone is... A quarter of an inch in size and the large one is between half of an inch and three quarters of an inch and this is what it looks like on well the bales gonna fall over but it's really a gorgeous and I'm going to start this at 30 because you're getting too beautiful. Really, I'm, I'm starting it for this. I wish you had camera to see the purple in the back. Um, but it's got such beautiful marksmanship and craftsmanship with the big bezel, the big place where the you could even put the chain here but i like the setting in that it's got this the silver balls and the squigglies that go down into another pendant i really 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 like that i like that a lot and here's what it would look like as a pendant it's gorgeous you guys it is well worth the 30 dollars starting Manji's in at 30. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to have to keep a chain here so that I can slip it on a chain just to show what it looks like on a chain. But my extra chain Manji got on her. I don't have any loose chains. Donna's in at 32. Do I see 34? It is amethyst on both of the stones. The only loose chain I have is a Tiffany and company chain. And I believe that's a 15 inch chain. If anybody's interested in seeing that at any point. Manji's back in at 34. Donna's in at 36. That is just so pretty. 
Let's see, where do I have my my beat up form? Donna's in at 40. Mona's in at 40. Mona, Donna just beat you. Manji's in at 42. Looking for 44. I pinned it on there backwards. Would you expect anything else? I mean, come on. Isn't it gorgeous? And I did not clean this, you guys. I mean, I didn't wipe it down. Mona's at 44. I don't know if it's antique. It's definitely vintage. Mona's at four. Donna's at forty. Manji's at forty-two. Mona's at forty-four. Manji's at forty-six. Oh, okay, Queen. You call me anytime you want to. So the high bid is at Leticia right now for forty-six. I look forward to that conversation, Cleo. And then you can see the light through it a lot better when I take my hand away. But this is what the back looks like. And here's the... The hallmark right here. Nine two five or is that nine five five? Let me see what these say. So we've got Leticia. Leticia, that is a bet, right? Forty six dollars. Okay. Yeah, it's beyond gorgeous. It says nine by five, so it's not even nine two five. Let me read it closer. I don't know if that's a five or a two. I'll leave that up to you guys. It might be 955, although I've never seen a 955. Donna is out. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Okay, Leticia, I got it. So, mind you, has got the high bid at 50. Do I see 55? Once we hit 50, we go into $5 increments. Mona, I would need to see 55. We go dollar increments, 1 through 20. Once we hit 20, we hit $2 increments. And then once we hit 50, it's $5 increments. And then at 100, it's, 100, it's $10 increments. That sugar-free monster is good. Well, we're going to go once to Mona Liz for 52 No. No. I'm sorry. We're not because that bid does not count. It has to be a $55 bid and she is out. So the top bid is Manji at 50. Sorry about that, you guys. Do you see the difference between taking Adderall and not taking Adderall? So, um... Manji has the high bid at $50 even. 
we are looking for a $55 bid. Thank you, Mona. So we're going to count this down at 50 for Manji. Going once at 50 for Manji. We're going to go twice for Manji at $50. It's gorgeous. We're going to go fair warning. Gorgeous. I said fair warning, right? This is sold to Manji at $50. Thank you, baby girl. Oh, it might help if I write it on there. That is so beautiful, Manji. You are going to be so happy when you get it. All right. We're going to switch things up. Just a little, just a little, just a little. And yes, I have another one. Similar, but larger. Okay. This ring weighs in at a mere 3.37 ounces. This is one of those feels like butter rings. This is a size five. Who was asking me for turquoise Saturday? Who's asking me for turquoise? That was Anita. I want to make sure to point out the top stone on this is very smooth, very uniform. The bottom stone is, is not uniform. It is different shaped. And the matrix is more, how should I say this? It's more hilly and, and um rough so this is a size five and this is the turquoise there's the stamp work almost looks like it says something doesn't it i just feel like wearing sexy that's all no. It still looks like it says something, but so it's a size five. Here's the turquoise. We're going to start this at 30. It's got beautiful design and stamp work on the sides. 
But what's nice is it's got a large, it's a smaller ring, but it's got a large face to it. It's, it does a lot with the space that it has. It's just beautiful. It is so beautiful. Makes a great pinky ring. Starting bit of 35. Let me put this one up. Just got that one today. 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 Knocking off all my rings. Baby, I'm a different breed. You know what? I keep forgetting to take these off. So I'm going to take these off. Not you. These pendants. And... This ring. Oh, everything's falling. Okay, we're going to do a couple rings. What happened to this ring? It got drunk. Man, I feel like I could fall asleep. Well, this has got like um, an edge that... It needs a straight edge on. Which is in my toolkit. And I don't know where my toolkit is. Well, it's got to be out here. Yep, here it is. Good night, Cleopatra. My chub saved it. It was just that easy. Just that easy <clears throat> yep i am skylar it, it'll be a couple hours. It'll be about a couple hours long. And we're going to do it to it. With whatever I got left. Okay. This is a malachite ring, guys. And this falls... At six and a half. And it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous setting. And I will start this one at 25. 
and it's got the little squigglies next to the stone but on the band loving the squigglies see the squigglies beautiful malachite on a diagonal let me show you the inside of the ring Let's see what that says. Mm. Nine two five. And I don't see a A maker in there maybe once if you if you clean that really really good to get any of the patina off in there you can see it better but do I have any starting bid for this what did I start this at you guys 20 well we'll just go 20 is there a $20 starting bid for this ring It was five and a half, six and a half. Yep, six and a half. Malachite ring, gorgeous. Malachite ring. <laughs> Let me put this one back. And then this beautiful, I love this band. It says Sterling on the inside. With arrows to you. And this is seven and a half. And it has got beautiful rose designs all the way throughout the ring. And I will start this one at 18. Oh, Leticia is in at 20 on the other one. All right, we'll get back to that one. This one right now. Do we have an opening bit of 18? Let's see what marks we have on the inside. Oh, that was the sterling, the arrows and the U. That's right. Do I have an $18 start bid for this band? It's a beautiful band. Justin, how are you? And then we've got Leticia in at 20 on the Malachite. We're going to go once to Leticia for $20. That's beautiful, Leticia. Crazy beautiful. Going twice to Leticia for 20 I don't know what it is that's making me like want to conk out. Fair warning.
And that is sold to Leticia for $20. Congratulations, Leticia. <sighs> All right. I've got so many chains and pendants. Let's go through some of those. Unless anybody has a specific request for a specific piece. Yeah, Skylar. I'm with you. I understand the feeling. This is adorable. This is a 19 inch chain. Spring ring clasp. There's the chain. And there is the pendant. It is a pretty little kitty sitting inside a heart. And I'll start this at 18. One eight. I don't know why I keep getting these block ups or these these pop-ups from Coral Draw. They drive me nuts. Do I have an $18 bid on this chain? It is so cute. Manji is in it 18. Let me show you the back. It's where your 95 mark is. It is so cute. It is cute, Manji. We're going once to Manji for $18. 19-inch chain. Going twice to Manji for $18. What a deal. You cannot buy a chain for $18, guys. Did I fair warning? If I didn't, there it is. I got to move super fast now, guys, because I wasted a lot of time. Yeah, stock up now, Manji. Sold to Manji because everything's going to get sent out to you now. So stock up now. Okay, I'm going to excuse myself just one moment because I think I need another energy drink. Hold on just a moment. Look at my mess, if you will. I'll be right back. You watching an old football game? I want you to know who I am. <coughs> Thank you, guys. I took a pain pill. So I'm thinking that's why I'm, I'm getting drowsy. Congratulations, Manzi. Manzi. Manji. That was beautiful. My fingers are as such that I cannot open pop cans 
without assistance. And has anybody had, these are grapes, has anybody ever had gumball grapes before? I know that I've heard of cotton candy grapes before. I guess Myers was out of cotton candy grapes. Tom picked up. Gumball grapes. They taste like gumballs. So if you're like having a sweet fit, you could. Mm, pop that in your mouth. And it literally feels like you get that same satisfaction of the sweetness of sugar as if I were eating a gumball. Gumball grapes. Cotton candy is the most popular, but they were sold out. Um, <clears throat> I'm just hungry. Last one. Go into your produce department and ask for them. They're incredible. Okay, I've got another pendant here. We're going to do a few. We're going to do a few chains and then we'll get back into the swing of things. Bye, Leticia. Love you. Who got the free shipping? Put in the chat if you got free shipping. I know Wings got free shipping. And I know that Manji got a, a discount. Did anybody else get free shipping? You got a discount, Manji. Okay. <clears throat> so, this chain is nineteen inches long. It has a beautiful lobster claw clasp. Here is the chain focus. And here is the pendant. It is a heart with a cross. And it dangles. Independent of its heart and I will start this at 18 as well 
This is really cute. And on the back, it's got its maker's mark. And it flipped to the front. Hi, Gabby. You don't think I should? Oh, it says hope, love. Let's see what it says. I forgot it was inscribed. Faith, hope, and love is what it says on the back of it. Do I have an $18 start bid? Or maybe this is the back of it and this is the front. The faith, hope, and, and love is the front. And then at the top, it shows Thailand and 925. And so I breathe right into the glass. Nine two five. Okay. And we will hang that back up. I'm going to show just a couple more crosses, guys, since we are on the subject. Lisa C needs to be here. 18 inch chain, spring ring clasp, beautiful box chain. And there is the pendant. Focus. I want to get, hi, Isabel. There we go. So you've got a long cross with the dove overlapping the cross. How beautiful is that? And I'll start this at 18 too. This pendant is just shy of an inch long. Isabel, are you bidding on this one or the last one? We, you know what? We could do, be doing choice on these. Let's do that. And then we can just see them all at the same time, right? Because... I have this cross. Why am I putting it backwards? I don't know. Give me just a moment, guys. And then this one. And then I have a special cross, but I'll do that separate. All right, so these are all 925, 18 inch crosses. And we will do starting bid 18. So you can have your choice between the four. For 18. They've all got box ring box chains on them, except for this heart right here. This has a standard chain on it. 
Isabel, don't say which one. Do I see any bids for 20? This is just CZs in here. This is CG CZs in this one. Manji's in at 20. Do I see 22? Highest bidder gets to pick the one that they want or however many they would like. The second highest bidder then gets to choose what is left. Manji has the high bid at 20. Does anybody want to come in at 22? I can't get that one to stay close. We're going to go once to Manji for 20. We're going to go twice to Manji at 20. Let me get these focused. There we go. Fair warning. They are beautiful. And this one here on the end has got Christ on the cross. All 925. Isabel's in at 24. Thank you, Isabel. Just before I call sold. You're sneaky, Isabel. Manji is out. We'll go once to Isabel. For 20, 2, 24, I'm sorry. Okay, so now you're making it 22? Okay. Isabel has the highest bid at 22. Going twice to her to 22. Fair warning. And it is sold to Isabel for $22. Which one did you want, Isabel? Or did you want more than one? Those grapes are awesome. There's the crucifix with Christ on it. There's the um, CZ cross, the cross with the dove on it, and then the heart with the cross on the inside. Which one? You are allowed to pick more than one. Isabel, which one did you want, honey? We can't move forward, baby, till you tell me. I think she wants the heart one with the cross, but I'm not sure.
These are almost gone. What you were about to experience is one of the reasons I'm fat. All the little tiny ones. You want this one. Okay. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. Manji, you were the next highest bidder. Would you like one for 22? Which one were you after? No? Okay. Did we have another bidder? Isabel, Manji, Isabel, Manji. Okay. Anybody else in the chat? interested on one of these for 22 I love this one it's so pretty okay okay Thank you, Manji. Let me just hang these up. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little kick now with the energy drinks. All right. Yes, baby. Good price. All right. I've got one more cross. And this one is 18 inches. It's got a spring ring clasp. It's a beautiful box chain. Love this one. Beautiful box spring. And it is a cross. And it's got purple CZs in it. It is not, hi Shirley. It is not amethyst. It is just CZ. But I will start this at 20. So you can see it is very dark purple. It does not look dark on camera, but you can at least see that it's purple, which says something about how dark the purple is. It is one inch, a little bit bigger than one inch tall and here is what it would look like pretty do i have a 20 dollars starting bid on this one nice big bail
What I like about this one is on the back, it's an open back. Skylar's in at 20. It's an open back. And look, they put reinforcements in between the stones just to protect the, the stones from falling out. They are reinforced. We're going to go once to Skylar for 20. It's really pretty. Again, one that I contemplated keeping. Very beautiful. Twice to Skylar. Did I already do twice? We're going to go fair warning. And that is sold to Skylar for $20. Nice snag. Nice snag, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a snake chain. So I'm going to keep that and wait till I have uh, the partner. This one. Of course, I knock everything down. All right, you guys, I have got a Tiffany and Company chain. If you are interested in a Tiffany and Company chain, let me know and I'll get it out. It is a basic chain with the Tiffany and Company logo. I do not have a Tiffany's around me to verify its authenticity. So this is a... I'm going to just say it's 16 inches. It's got a lobster claw clasp with a little heart. And one of the sides is textured. This one's textured. This side. There we go. And it's got two little jump rings in here so that you can adjust the size if you wish. And it's got two gold hearts. Let me let the chain focus. It's got two gold hearts at the end of it. And actually, Debbie, I told you I didn't have any gold over silver. This heart is gold over silver. So I do have some gold over silver. One heart is gold over silver. The other heart is silver. And I'll start that at 18. That's cute. And Shirley is in at 18. Thank you, Shirley. It's cute. We're going to go once to Shirley for 18. Beautiful.
Hang on. Skylar's in it. 20. Do I see 22? Shirley's back in at 22. Do I see 24? And we're going to go once to Shirley for 22. We will go twice to Shirley for 22. These little waves and curls just crack me up. 18 inches, baby. Oops, hang on. 16 inches. Sorry about that. 16 inches. Hello, lighting colors. High bid is with Shirley at 22. We're going to go fair warning. And that is sold to Shirley for $22. Thank you, Shirley. That's a really cute change, Shirley. Hi, K Goddess. How are you? All right. Baby, I'm a different breed. Okay, I'm going to show this necklace. And I do have a long chain, guys. This isn't it, but I do have one. So this is a combination of glass beads and pearls, real pearls. And this measures about 17 inches. And there's the spring ring clasp. All right, I'm going to get this to focus. There we go. And those are real pearls. And then it's got your darkened chain and your string of glass beads that are really highly faceted and they look like crystals. 
highly faceted. These almost have like a, they're not green, but I don't know. I just kind of pick up on like a greenish vibe from them. They're not green, but I pick up a greenish vibe. Who's Maria? Our life in colors, is that Maria? And the nice thing about this too, is it's on a wire, a 925 wire, where you can bend it. And it will stay. If you want it straight, it can be straight. Okay, that's what I thought. Or it can be curvy. And I would start this at 15. And you've got the two little pearls up by the clasp. I would start this for $15. And this is a darkened chain. Man, I'm super tired. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, I'm going to do a couple rings and then we'll go back to these other pendants, okay? I have got three rings in particular. I already did the new turquoise ring I have. So if you didn't see that, let me know and I can show it to you again. Mm. I don't know if this one was 925 or not. This is old. I don't know if the silver on that. I mean, it's not old, old, old. Like, it's one that's um it's got real stones in it the stones in it are authentic but i don't think the band is 925 hey i'm not going to be doing that tonight manji i promise you that especially since i'm doing saturday auctions now too guys my auctions will be a little bit shorter. Okay. Now this one is... The stones are real. But I don't think that's 925. Let me just double check because, yeah, if I'm going to be doing two auctions a week, you guys, yeah, that's not 925. I scratched it down to its copper. Just in that spot. Hi, 
How many of you out there check your own 925? Put a one in the chat. If you acid test your jewelry. Just K? Thank you, Manji. Okay, so I'm curious, K. I call you K Goddess. Well, you don't have to worry about anything you get from me, Manji, because I have this. I have my gem tester, so um, I want to ask you a question, though. Plus, I'm honest. Okay, the green, I guess, is glass. Maybe it's the blue one that's real. Yep, the blue one is spinel. It falls right into jadeite and spinel. Yeah, thank you. I am honest. I appreciate that. Um, so if you like spinel, this blue stone is spinel. The green stones are glass. And the band is silver tone. But let me just see what size it is. Okay, it says, I trust everything I get from you. I never double check what I get from you. Aw, thank you. You guys, it's hard work selling jewelry. If you you do all the shopping to get the jewelry, you go over, you pick things out. Sometimes I have to drive a half an hour to get to my source. Um, you get it home, you test everything. Then you clean and blah, 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 blah. It's a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. People don't realize if you do it right and you do it, you know, so you know what you're selling, you know the stones, you know, you know if it's gold or silver or what, you know, I bought this to make my life easier. So you knew what you were getting. It really is. I have a newfound respect for YouTubers. There is so much behind the scenes that the video of a whole day to upload. Oh, thank you, Donna. I, you know, I do it so I know what I'm offering and what I can offer it for. Okay, so this is a size 5. And just, I mean, since I showed it, why not? It's spinel. It, the blue is spinel. The green is glass. The band is silver tone. But here's the ring. It's a size 5. I would do a starting bid of $10 on it. If anybody wants a nice size spinel, it's a very nice size spinel. If anybody wanted it for a $10 starting bit, I would go there. There are no marks on it, of course. It's got gorgeous band work on it. Really, really pretty. The only reason I'm showing it to you because it does have an actual beautiful stone in it. Which is, you know, common for vintage pieces. Okay, man, I just can't make anything work today. I don't think I've ever showed that before. But some people like that, contrasting colors like that. But it is silver. 
and not 925. Like I've got these. These came in a, a group of rings. Some of which I kept because I like to play with different wedding rings and stuff. Um, but these again are 925 rings with CZs in them. They're not real. Like this one right here. I would start these at 10. Because that's what I start my 925s that have synthetic stones in them. This one's got a big old centerpiece. This is a size... Yeah, size five is really small. It is. But that's what Thelma wears. Thelma Thrift is a five. I think she's a six in her middle finger. That's why when she flips me off, you can't ever see it. She never flips me off live. It was just a joke. Okay, so this one, trying to get a. So this one is a six and three quarters. And this one, look how beautiful this one is. This is definitely worthy of faking for a wedding ring. And there's the sides. So pretty. And this one. Girl, you know what I do in Chicago, okay? That's where I meet Thelma, is in Chicago. Because um, Thelma's son lives in Chicago. And she goes to Chicago, like, sometimes for a week. And she's already gone on her yearly, weekly trip. And when she goes to Chicago for a week, we'll meet up at the thrift stores. I'll take a train to Chicago and we'll meet at the thrift stores and we'll spend the whole day together. So next time we do that, I will give you a holla. All right, so this is an eight. And this is the one that is so beautiful. So either one of these would just be a $10 starting bid. Because they're the 925 and that is valuable. The rest are CZs. So I've got those if you want. Open oh, Shirley's in at 10. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's an 8. So, I can wear it. See? I could wear this and go out and be like, lay off me, man. I'm married. We're going to go once to Shirley at 10. Oh, no, I can't get it off. Yes, I got it off. Twice to Shirley at 10. You know, I get these in, um, like, if I buy a lot, a lot of something. And, uh, you know, sometimes my uh, thrift or my um, pawn shop guy, he'll be like, okay, I got a, I got a pile of eight rings that are 925. 
and he'll sell those to me for a set price. So it's, you don't get to pick through them. So fair warning to Shirley. And we're sold to Shirley for 10. Which one did you want, Shirley? Or did you want both? Am I acting bougie? You want both, Shirley? Okay, baby. Okay, if I put them both in the same bag, honey, or you want them separate bags? Put them in the same bag or set? I'll just do separate. Because I can. You know, one thing that is a pet peeve of mine, and I'm going to share it with everybody. Now nah, I'll put them in separate, Shirley. I don't know why I even asked. You know, when you order jewelry from somebody, and let's say you order one group of like five rings, okay? Or let's say throughout the two hour auction. You've ordered four or five things. Necklaces, chains, whatever. And then you get it in the mail and everything's in one bag. And it's like the jewelry can move around and just everything's tossed in one bag. Am I the only person that dislikes that? Put in the chat how you feel about that. Because I just picture everything getting scratchy. And for anybody out there that does it, um, I apologize. I'm not insulting you. I'm simply stating a preference. And from all of you guys who know me, no, and I don't know why I asked if you wanted it in the same bag, Shirley, because I'm going to put it in a different bag anyway. Um, you know, I put each item in a bag. So each individual item is in a bag. And then I will. Now, I do this and tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, I will place the envelopes, I fold it under so it doesn't stick out. I'll put, not on top of each other, but if I can help it, you know, so each ring has its own room, you know, and then this chain. I'll put them in one box like this, and then I put it all away. I have this bag. Darn it. And I will either put foam on the top of it. Oh, thank you, Kay. Or bubble wrap, just depending on what I have available. And I put that on top of the jewelry. And then I put the lid on the box. So, has anybody ever experienced piss it off -ed or up by me doing that? You may put it in the chat if you don't like it like that. Because what I used to do is I would take each piece and like put it in bubble wrap and it was so much work that I found buying the boxes were just so much easier. And then I'll just, I got to put the padding in yours, surely, but, and then I just put the, the box in the, in the envelope and then, you know, I'm all set once I get the payment. 
Okay, nobody minds. All right. Well, I just wanted to make sure. Nine two five ring. Ten dollars times two. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Donna. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure because sometimes I stuff those boxes, but I make sure it's it's adequately padded. All right, guys, let's get into some amber. Should we? Should we get into some amber? Let's do it. All right, this ring. Is a seven and a half. Look at the side. Look at the detailing on the side. Isn't that gorgeous? And it is amber. And the same detail on the other side. Gorgeous. And that's the, the shank. What did I say? Seven and a half? Oh, seven. Okay. So it's a size seven. Yeah, okay. I did. So here is the amber. And I will start this at 30. Focus. You know what, Moni? I sold. Did you get my Pearl Saturday? Somebody bought my Pearl Saturday. I have some more, though. This is a gorgeous amber piece with a beautiful setting. It's the same setting on both sides. Is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pearl. $30 starting bid. And it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Why does my camera keep doing that? Isn't that gorgeous? You know, okay, I have another one that only has a $25 start. This is an eight. Hi, Robin. This amber ring is an eight. The other one's a seven. I'll show you that one again in here. Just one minute. This one's an eight. This has a side view. The amber is, is side to side. Split shank there. Let me see if there's any markings on the, the silver here. I tested it myself, of course. So this one would be $25 start bid. And then this one is a $30 start bid. And it's a size 7. But the amber is just as beautiful. But, but look at the setting of the ring. Isn't that gorgeous? And the setting is the same on both sides. Let me take it off. I'm about to fall asleep. I 
And that's a $30 starting bed. But we already went over that one. And then this one was $25 if anybody was interested in that one. And then this ring is a malachite ring. Doesn't have the stripes. And it's not a polished ring. But it is so freaking cool. Has a thicker shank. It's a six and a half. I should show you. Six and a half. I am a temptress. Yeah, Donna, it's, you know, I'm going to stop here another 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to go back to bed, and then that will leave us some jewelry for Saturday. But I still have some things I want to go through. So this is Malachite, and I'll do a uh, $30 start bid on this. Now, you don't see the stripes that you would normally associate with malachite. You see the bit or the, the hole in it right here? What do I call those? Not bits, but you guys, what do I call them when there's chips in the stone? It's going to, okay, it's going to be... 12 noon Eastern time. And I will be out of state. I will be in Indiana pitting. Thank you, Donna. But this Malachite has got such a gorgeous setting on it. Look at that. It's got that twisted sterling silver all the way around. Okay, I'm so happy. Yeah, I like I like when my stones are pitted. But this is a really pretty ring. It's got a Your signature in there. So it says can't read it but wow it's got the um the um uh, patina in there and I really can't read it It's sterling upside down. It's a sterling upside down. So it is a vintage piece. All right. 
let's go through these pieces I just got today. <laughs> All right, are you ready? These are marked bars, 925 bars. So, you know, they are designer. And these are post earrings. The backings on them are not 925. But look how beautiful these are. They are turquoise. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get your balls in the right spot. Okay. I'm sorry. Gorgeous. Look at the matrixing on that one. I am going to start these at $22. They are bars, which bars doesn't produce anymore to my knowledge. They are 9 to 5 sterling silver. They have a nice thick presentation. And I'll show you the back. Donna's in at 22. And there is your There's your bars, 925. And these are really cute. Love turquoise. We're going to go once to Donna at 22. This is the size of them. They're cute. Cute, cute, cute. Absolutely beautiful. Going twice to Donna at 22. Fair warning. <laughs> Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Shirley, I thought I had Erd's Donna. That's why. And those are sold to Donna for 22. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Okay. We are going to do this. These are earrings. I'm going to show you the first one. I'm going to show you one first. Now, this is the entire earring. Each earring is identical. But the top part of this earring. Let me see if I can. Get this to focus. The struggle is real. Where's my whiteboard? It fell. There it is.
they're a little thin stones on here. And here's the earrings. So these little red dots up here are garnet. And then we have, let's see if we get close. Malachite, turquoise, and lapis. And I think the the bottom bird is a different stone. It might still be garnet, but I think it might be a different stone. Nope, it's garnet. I have to be really careful because it's small. And I keep touching the wrong spot. Yeah, it's garnet. I just wanted to make sure. All right. So, in each side is identical to the other side. So, this one's got lapis, turquoise, malachite, garnet, garnet. Same for this one. I will start these at 30. These are so pretty. They just look Native American to me. K is in at 30. Do I see 32? We'll go once to K for 30. These are so pretty. I'll show you the back here in just a minute. What, Carly? Oh, you knew that she would want them. They do come with the backs. The backs aren't 925, but there's just a little tiny little spot on the back. Let's get it focused. I can't. Please focus. It's just, it's like a hole. I think it's either their stamp or I don't know what it is, but you can't make it out. Manji's in at 32. Do I have 34? I'm starting to wake up, guys. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. It's just a stamp. I really, I really, truly believe... It was meant to be a 925 stamp, and they just, it's worn off over time. It's just a hole now. It's an indentation. It's where it, it should have said 925. Let me see if you can read the 925 on this one. We're going to go once to Manji for $32. Yeah, this one you could read it just a little bit better. But it was supposed to be 925. We're going to go twice to Manji for 35. These are so pretty. I love these. 
I had somebody try and buy these when I showed them showed them to them. And I'm like, nope, you gotta wait for the auction. There you go, honey. And those are all slivers of stone that are on there. You've got malachite, garnet, lapis, and turquoise. And then you've got an a garnet sun on the top. We're going to go fair warning to Manji. They're just beautiful. They are so beautiful. Oh, they're so beautiful. And I am watching the chat. And they are sold to Manji for 32. I said sold, and then a, a comment popped up. Oh, thanks, Nanine. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. $32, that's a good price. All right. I have got this. This gorgeous. The, the bail just came off and I'm like, oh no, it broke. But I'll show you. It, it comes apart. Um, pendant that's got Laramar inside. And the pendant is three quarters of an inch tall. Not including the bail. And between half of an inch and three quarters of an inch wide. And here's the pendant. I think it is so pretty. All right. We're going to have a talk. You're going to focus. Okay. There we go. You see how pretty this... The setting is for this little pendant. It is so pretty. It's got the twisted sterling around the setting for the, the Cabochon Lamar stone. It is so pretty. I will start this at 20. It is so pretty. Let me put it on here with a pen. Oh, and I was going to show you the bale. The bale does open like this. If it focuses. There we go. So the, the bale does open like this, and then you just squeeze it shut so that you can take the bale off if you want to. And it's easier to get different charms 
or pendants on there if you so choose. But it's cute. And we do a $20 starting bid on it. Let's turn the bail back the way it's supposed to be. And this is dark right now, but you could, if you were to clean it, it would lighten up back to its original silver. That's pretty. Focus, you little fart. There we go. Maybe I'm just not sitting still. There we go. Isn't that pretty? That has such a pretty setting to it. Show you the back. I'm getting my exercise. It's an actually not good exercise, but... There's the back. All right. It does not want to focus. Okay. Let me put this back. All right, we're going to do do one more piece, guys. It is after 10. Do you guys want... Do you want a ring? A pendant? A bracelet or earrings? Type it out in the chat. Yeah, I've got this. It's got other things stuck to it. Donna wants a bracelet. This is a 60 inch chain and it's got glass beads throughout. Let me see if this is the Sixty inches, and it's got glass beads. It's got pearls. Those gold, those are pearls. And then the brown is um, just a glass stone, but it has citrine. Very large pieces of citrine in it. It's surrounded by pearls, glass stones, and here is multiple 925 in citrine. There's some more citrine. It's got citrine all the way through this and little danglies, and it's got 925 all the way through this. Like here's a big piece of 925 that's in there. And I would start this at 25. For the 925, there's another piece of 925. 25, Donna. It's got 925 throughout. It's got a lot of citrine. Like there's citrine right here. These three bids are, are um, beads are citrine. This is citrine here. This is... Um, glass 
even though it looks like smoky topaz or citrine all the way throughout this. It's just beautiful. It's got 925 beads in it. There's four or five 925 beads. This one is a large one. And then it's got this beautiful one right here. Now this is a strictly a pull over the, the head. But at $25 starting bid, it's a 60 inch chain. So you can easily get a couple layers out of this. And it's pretty. Those of you who don't have moose heads like me could maybe wrap it three times, but it's just pretty. It's really, 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 really pretty. It's $25, Donna. All right, we're going to do one more thing. And. Donna wanted bracelets. So let's do this bracelet. This bracelet is seven inches, seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter inches. It does have a safety guard. And here's the little safety guard. That'll flip up and latch once it's hooked. I get it seven and a quarter. I will start this at $18. It says a little bit of weight to it. A lot of sterling. Oh, uh, let me look, Carly. is really cute and Donna's in an 18 thank you Donna this one might be long let me check this one might be long too Moni's in it 20. Thank you, Moni. Do I see 22? And then when you click it, it just goes in. Let me get the safety out. It just slides in like this and clicks. And then you just secure the safety down. And you're all set. Did they get pinched together? Oh, it wasn't all the way in. Okay. Bye, Manji. See you Saturday, honey. We're going to go once to Donna at 22. We're going to go twice to Donna at 22. Fair warning. And that is sold to Donna for $22. Thank you, Donna.
Let me see if this one is... This is the longest. Nope, this is the longest one I've got. All right. This is... It's seven, just a little bit over seven and a half. And that's with a little extender on it. Has a little extender on it. And it's got this leaf. So as far as you can you can take it's going to be that seven and a half, and it says almost cryptically, but it does say love. I have it upside down. L O uh, L O V E. And it's got this pink crystal right in the chain. And I think this is just a, a glass bead. Yeah. But this is seven in, what did I say, seven and a quarter or seven and a half. Seven and three quarters. And I would start that at twelve dollars. The one that says love. Let me just see how long this one is. And this one is just shy of seven and a half, but this is all amethyst. Might be amethyst and quartz. Let me double check. Nope, it is all amethyst. I would start this one at, oh, geez. Uh, I'd start that at, at $16, one six. Gabby, shipping to Canada is usually about thirteen dollars, twelve dollars, usually eleven ninety five, depending on um, the value of the item that's being shipped, which affects the insurance. Okay, Pat, are you? What are we bidding on? Because this one was $16. And this one was, I forget what I started this one at. Which one are we bidding? I guess we'll just do choice. So Pat was at 15. Shirley's at 17. Pat's at 18. Do I see 20? Shirley's at 20. Do I see 22? Pat, at 20, we go in $2 increments, honey. So it would be $2 increments. Thank you, Pat. Pat's at 22. Do I see 24? Shirley is at 24. Do I see 26? Pat, 
Pat is in at 26. Shirley is out. We're going to count this down. Moni's in at 26. Moni, you came in just after Pat, sweetie. You'd have to come in with a $28 bid, love. <laughs> and your last name is love. You'd have to come in with a $28 bid, honey. As I'm throwing everything around. So right now we've got Pat, style with Pat with the high bid of 26. We're going to go once to Pat for 26. Oh, Moni's in at 28. And you get your choice between which one that you want, guys. Moni is in at 28. Do I see 30? I just want to check something. I do not want to print anything. Okay. So we've got the amethyst. And Pat is out. Moni has got the high bid at 28. We're going to go once for Moni for $28. We're going twice to Moni with 28. Fair warning. And that is sold to Moni for $28. Moni, which bracelet did you want, honey? The amethyst, okay, good choice. Nice choice. All right, you guys. That is going to wrap it up for tonight. Don't forget that um, I will be having another auction on Saturday at 12 noon. So don't forget about that. And... That'll be just a little bit different format because I'll be at my son's house. I'll probably be tucked away in the spare bedroom at my son's house. And I will be doing it from there. So thank you everybody who came. Love you, love you. And I will see you Saturday, 12 noon Eastern time. All right, guys. Bye.